The death toll continued to climb in Egypt Friday as thousands of pro-Mohamed Morsi demonstrators took to the streets, clashing with security forces in what was dubbed a day of rage. Although reports of the number killed in Friday's clashes vary, Al Jazeera says 95 people are dead and hundreds more are injured after Morsi supporters converged on Ramsey Square. Demonstrators told the news outlet security forces fired on them with live ammunition. Reports from Cairo say several skirmishes broke out on bridges near Ramsey Square. This video shows a security forces truck backing up, then falling off one bridge after trying to elude protesters. A person in Cairo tweeted this photo of a man jumping off the October 6 bridge to reportedly escape the conflict. A writer for USA Today said Friday's violence was much darker than usual because residents and possibly police in civilian clothing engaged in the violence. Police in uniform were nowhere to be seen as residents fired at one another. The day began when protesters attempted to stage a sit-in at Ramsey Square. That's when the interim government deployed security forces throughout the nation's capital to protect government institutions. On one side, they're saying the Muslim Brotherhood and supporters of Morsi fired on the police, and of course the protesters are saying it was the other way around. However, you could hear these very loud uh, gunshots coming from above, from the side, from everywhere. The violence also spread to neighboring cities, Alexandria and Damietta, where Morsi supporters and police were killed. The Atlantic reports Friday's violence follows Wednesday's military crackdown on Morsi supporters. More than 600 people died in the fighting Wednesday, arguably one of the most violent days since the ousting of the former president in July. Along with the destruction on the streets, Coptic Christian churches have also become collateral damage. CNN reports at least 30 churches were attacked by Morsi supporters since Wednesday. Although President Obama and leaders of other countries have condemned the violence, members of the Muslim Brotherhood said Friday weeks of daily protests against the interim government will continue. For Newsy, I'm Christian Bryant.